everyone. Welcome back to another great episode of Rahana's Cuisines. Today we're going to be doing a chicken ala king recipe that um, comes from us from Batul Jetta Walji. So thank you very much Batumami for this recipe. Obviously I'm going to be tweaking it a little bit. Um, obviously, and, and the thing with that is you know everybody that makes things at home tweak your recipes just a little bit you know to your liking. So that makes cooking really fun and exciting. So um, this chicken, I do have another chicken ala king recipe on YouTube which uses yogurt. This is going to use white sauce. So we will be making a white sauce for this recipe. Let's go ahead and see what ingredients we're going to need. For this chicken ala king, to make the white sauce we're going to need um, about 4 tablespoons of unsalted butter and about 3 tablespoons of flour. and um, we are going to use the water that is left over from our vegetables for, to make the white sauce. So for boiling our vegetables that's going to go into our white sauce, we are going to be using about two cups of frozen green peas, about a cup and a half to two of roughly chopped carrots, and about two cups of roughly chopped potatoes. I have here two and a half cups of diced chicken. Um, you can decrease or increase the amount that you like. We're also going to be adding a little bit of ginger and garlic, about a tablespoon, optional. And then I have here four boiled eggs that I um, boiled, peeled it, and rough, roughly just diced it. So let's get started. First, what we want to do is we want, and water. First, what we want to do is we want to start boiling our vegetables and our chicken so that um, it can start. So once that is ready, then we'll make the white sauce. So in my pan, I'm just gonna add a little bit of ginger and garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken in here. Oh, and I forgot we're gonna be also putting in some salt to taste. So in goes my chicken, my peas, our carrots, and our potatoes. We are going to be adding, which is very optional, about three tablespoons of bell peppers. And this will be doing completely in the end. This will add a little bit of crunch to the um, chicken ala king. And like I said, that is completely optional. I'm just gonna mix all this up. Go ahead and add our salt in here. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add water, enough water to cover our vegetables and our meat. Okay. We're gonna let this come to a boil, lower the heat to medium. We're gonna cover it up and then we're gonna boil this until our chicken is completely cooked through and our carrots and potatoes are, when we put a fork in it, they're gonna be pretty soft. So um, when we come back, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do a special rice that um, Batul Walji makes for the chicken ala king. For our rice, what we are going to do is just heat up our pan and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a good half cup of oil or a little bit less than half a cup, a fourth of a cup. Okay. To that we're gonna go ahead and add half of our rice. I am making two cups of rice. Now depending on how much you're making for your home, you can um, just use half of it and we're gonna add it into our oil. Okay, we're gonna fry this rice until it gets really nice and golden brown. So 
So you can see here that the consist consistency of the rice has changed. The color is not where we want it. So we're still gonna keep on um, frying this rice and I'm gonna keep on moving it and then I'll show you when it gets to the right color. So now I want you to see the color of the rice. Nice and you can really tell that it's become nice and brown. And this is the proper, proper way that Batu Mami makes her rice for the chicken ala king. Now, what we're gonna do here to this rice here, I'm going to go ahead and add the other half of my plain white rice. And what this is going to do is this is gonna give it a double color and it's actually going to look really, really nice. Okay, see the color? Okay, so I'm going to add all the rice in here. And then here, I'm going to show you how I did this. Okay. It actually really smells nice and toasty, really nice toasty rice. I've never made this rice before, but I've seen her make it and I've tried it, and it really turns, turns out perfect. So to this, I'm going to go ahead and add my broth, and this, I'm gonna show you what broth we're talking about here. I just wanna get this going here. And this here, if you can show them, this here is my, um, this is the, the where we boiled our chicken and uh, peas and everything. This is the stock that I used. And I'm just gonna, you know, you wanna put your, the measurement that you have for your rice. And this is the, stock that I used from here. Um, I think that this is gonna really give it an amazing, amazing flavor from the chicken and the potatoes and the peas. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead, add some salt in here. Okay, stir it up. I'm gonna turn this to low and I'm gonna let this rice cook. When we come back, I'm gonna show you what this rice looks like. We're making white sauce. So, this is the same pan that I used to boil our meat and vegetables. To that, we're gonna add our butter. And um, I will add all the recipes under the description part of the YouTube channel and my website should be ready very very soon you would be able to see all the recipes on there under rehanascuisines.com okay so we're gonna let this melt just a little bit to this we're gonna go ahead and add our flour And we're just wanna, gonna cook this to the point where we know that all the raw flavor of the flour has disappeared. And it just, you will be able to tell because the smell, the aroma of the white sauce is going to be fantastic. And my stove was off all this time, so I apologize for that. But it's on and so we're just gonna cook this up just a little bit. And I wanted to show you here, we've got all our vegetables ready. We boiled it all together, so um, the chicken is really, really nice and tender. Really, really soft. Mmm, tastes really good. I've got my eggs ready. I'm gonna be using milk uh, to make our white sauce. 
the rice for the chicken ala king is cooking away on the other stove at this point. And this can be eaten with um, the chow mein noodles um, on the side just before you start eating. You can just put that either as a part of the serving or just put it in little bowls, uh, individual bowls around for anybody who wants to eat it with the chow mein noodles. Just gives the um, this dish such a really crunchy um, experience. So see how our white sauce is. And I didn't want to pause the video I, because there are people who are having a very tough time with this part of cooking, making the white sauce. So just wanted to show you that as I'm cooking, you're watching, I'm not gonna break this video at all so that you can see how long it takes for our white sauce to come together, okay? And I can smell that really nice toasty smell of the um, white sauce cooking here. Okay, at this point what you want to do is you wanna grab a whisk. And the best way to do it is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding the milk, be very careful, and you just wanna keep on stirring. This is gonna give you 100% where it's not going to get in clumps. And so this is perfect. What we're going to do now is, I'm going to now, I don't need the whisk anymore because as it's on the stove, I'm gonna be just um, stirring it until it gets really nice and thick or thick and um, uh, thick enough uh, to the point where we can start adding our vegetables in there and at this point I will cut the video just because the videos do become very very long so when we come back I'm going to show you the exact consistency of I our to show you here look at the consistency just gave it I gave it another four minutes and I've just been stirring it continuously. This will make it sure that it's not going to stick on the bottom, nor will it do any more clumps. But if you follow the recipe right the way we do it, you should have a perfect white sauce. This is the consistency, consistency that I want the white sauce to be. At this point, I am going to go ahead and add our mixture of the potatoes, peas, chicken, and carrots in here and it's not very much on the thick side and I'll tell you the reason why I'm not making it very very thick is because as it cools the white sauce is gonna start thickening and then it's just gonna become really gunky and thick and then you'll have to add milk and you'll have to you know thin it out this way by keeping it just a little bit more runnier you're safe that when it thickens up it's not gonna get extremely extremely thick to this now, I'm going to go ahead and add our eggs. Eggs are completely optional. If you don't want to add them in there, you want to take them out, you don't want to use it at all in the recipe and just um, do it with the with the peas and the carrots and the potatoes. It's That's perfectly fine, all up to you. And I'm then going to go ahead and add my bell peppers in here. And obviously, I do not want to cook my bell peppers because I want it to be a little bit uh, giving it a little bit of a crunch in the dish. Now, if you really want to jazz this dish up, you could also add um, the red bell peppers in there. That way, it will look really, really pretty. I didn't have any in the house, so I just I'm just gonna stick with this. Now, I just want to show you here. I did a taste test for the white sauce mixture here, and it it's just perfect. I do not have any white pepper, but I'm still going to go ahead and add just a little bit of black pepper in it. <coughs> okay. Now you can keep this dish completely separate or you can serve it in a layers, in a layered dish by taking the rice here which is all done and I want you to see how beautiful this rice looks okay the rice is 
really really hot so I don't want to break it up that's the reason I use like a spatula and just you know take it from the bottom and just kind of fluff it up okay I just love the uh, colors color it gives the rice it looks beautiful so like I said if you're gonna layer it what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a layer of rice put it on the bottom of our plate just like that Then what you want to do is kind of spoon our sweet and sour mixture. Okay, and basically let your imagination run wild however you want to dress this dish up I'm sure it's gonna look amazing I've got some dried parsley flakes here which I'm just gonna add a little bit on top just like so and our chicken a la king is ready I'm gonna grab a plate so I can give it a taste test and tell you how it tastes so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to add some rice. And like I said, the I wish I had some of those Chinese noodles in here, but I don't. Um, so serve them with the noodles because they do taste amazing. And you can even serve, like I said, separate. But smells amazing, really. Okay. This is amazing, especially when you eat it really hot and it's just come off the stove with the chicken so soft. And the best part is the toasted rice. Batumami, you really have done it. I mean, this rice is amazing. That toastiness that, that it's giving this dish it's just absolutely fantastic so subscribe if you haven't done so so you can get all my latest recipes every week send me an email send me um, write me up a post stay connected Facebook Rihanna's cuisines so today we completed our recipe on how to make chicken a la king using white sauce um, we'll come back next time and we'll make another great recipe. So thank you for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Hope I can see you here next time with another great recipe. See you then, friends.